But I did find Luxembourg terribly depressing because Radio Luxembourg in those days was on all day on a Sunday until one o'clock in the morning. And I would have to virtually be there all day apart from an hour's break uh, when I went back and had something to eat in the hotel. And that's a heck of a long time to say, this is Radio Luxembourg, this is Radio Luxembourg, hitting gongs all over the place. There was Geoffrey Everett just sitting there and talking, and I said, well, I could never do this, just sit there and talk and introduce records. He said, well, he said, if you don't do that, he said, if you start writing script, you'll never be a broadcaster. So I said, but I mean, I, I could never think of anything to say. He said, look, you're going to make a heck of a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes, but at the same time, You'll learn from those mistakes. Uh, you'll always make mistakes, but uh, you'd do that if you were reading the script anyway. So uh, I took his advice, and um, I found that I could talk uh, and that I could ad-lib. I always had a completely different outlook when I did a program called Irish Request, because we had a lot of listeners in Ireland, and I used to do it in a sort of pseudo-Irish voice. You're, ah, this is your own darling boy, Pete Murray here now. And I used to sing, if you're Irish, come into the parlour. And then I got lumbered with a program called um, Cowboy's Lullaby. Now, oh, what the heck I was going to do with that, because I just finished a program uh, of ordinary requests, and there I was, stuck as a cowboy. So I thought, well, I could hardly present that in my own voice, so I, I called myself Old Pedro, and I used to come on, and I used to do a... and then hit the gong, dong, like I'd spat and the gong had gone off. Ah, to there, friends, this is Radio Luxembourg here. Yeah, it's your old pal Pedro. Going to present you some really mighty fine Western music, friends, and hope you're going to enjoy it out there. It's really wonderful talking to you. And I used to get a heck of a lot of requests from uh, the Americans saying it's wonderful to have somebody for an old timer from back home. Well, at that time I was 23 years of age. <laughs> We had an office down in the basement by the record library and we became stoically British under the circumstances because it had damp and, and it was very, very unhealthy and there was no light, there were no windows because we were in the basement and uh, I remember Peter Madden and I going up to see the, uh, which is unheard of, to, to see the president of the company who was a very charming French gentleman. Uh, and said, would he please come down and look into the conditions we were living under, which were appalling. And he came down and said, oh, yes, this is not good enough. I said, I've got a feeling, I said, I think that there's an anti-British... No, no, there is nothing anti-British about us at the We love you. No, Monsieur Marais, have no fear. And they gave us a beautiful office after that. So it really was worth a little bit of a fight. Well, here we are at the end of the line. You know, we've played a heck of a lot of records in tonight's programme, and you may have missed a little bit of information about them, but uh, if you want to get all that information down on paper, so to speak, don't forget to get Records Magazine, price sixpence, now on sale at your local record dealer. There you will get all the information, not only about the records I've played tonight, but about all the LPs and EPs. And there you have the safaris with the little thing entitled Wipeout. <coughs> which is what Alan Bailey will be done with very shortly if he does any more of that <laughs> business on me. Alan Bailey is our technician who plays the records. He's a terribly witty chap who sort of likes to floor me from time to time. It's not a position I like to be in, quite frankly. Uh, there must be a crack there somewhere, but I'm delighted to say I can't think of one. Oh, it reminds me, the wind is whistling through this studio door today. I think Jack Jackson's been eating beans again, I can always tell. But right now, Johnny Cash, you tell me. Tell me why she left me. The 6 five Special steaming down the line. 6 five Special right on time. It's time to jive on the old 6 five. Yes, it's number one. It's Top of the Pops. <laughs> Johnny Stewart phoned me and said, can I come to see you? And he came out to my flat. And I lived at Baker Street at the time. He said, look, I've got this idea. You did top 20 for years on, on Radio Luxembourg at 11 o'clock, and it was, a, you know, massive. He said, and I want to do something very similar, although I can't obviously make it entirely top 20 or top 10 even because of availability of artists. But I'd like to do something. I'd want to uh, have a, a, a hit parade show as much of a hit parade show as I can do on, on television, and I'd like you to host it. And at that time, I had an, uh, a manager who was uh, uh, trying to promote my acting once again, and I'd had a reasonable amount of success in one way or another, 
And he said, You've got to, you can't go on doing this pop stuff. So I said to John, I said, I don't really want to do it. He said, well, what, 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 why don't you want to do it? And I explained to him why I didn't want to do it, because of my manager. It didn't help me at all in that case. Anyway, eventually he said to me, well, how about if I got three other disc jockeys who did one, one a month? I said, OK, that'll be fine. I agreed to do that, but I didn't want to make it entirely me all the time. I didn't want that. Music loving Pete Murray on 247 Radio 1. On Radios 1 and 2, it's Pete, Saturday People. And a very good evening to you, ladies and gents. We have a swinging program lined up for you. This is Pete Murray at the helm, behind the microphone, and uh, we'll be introducing you to some guests a little later on in the show. But, of course, we also have some superb music. And now on Radio 2, it's time for Open House with your host, Pete Murray. And this is Pete wishing you all a very good morning. And our guests this morning are from the world of tennis, Yvonne Gulagong, and from the world of hairstyling fashion, Videl Sassoon. One of the great delights uh, of your Marlene Dietrich is uh, cooking, and in particular cooking for other people. Do you have a, a favourite dish? No, I have. I cook about everything. Yes. I'm a very good cook. <laughs> and uh, I love cooking because you can only be good at something if you love it, and I really do love cooking. I don't mind washing dishes or anything either. You do that as well, do you? Yes, yes. I clean up the kitchen and I can't understand people who always complain about washing dishes. <laughs> if, uh, if you were invited to, to uh, somebody for dinner, what would be the dish that you would perhaps hope to get more than anything? Hope to get I to eat is Irish stew. Irish stew? Yes. <laughs> uh, I love everything that's cooked, the boiled together with vegetables and potatoes. And that's what I love. <laughs> Hello, a very good morning and welcome to Open House in the Open Air. For the next 15 minutes, we're in fact uh, broadcasting simultaneously on Radio 2 and also BBC One television. And, of course, it's a very exciting day here. I, I, even I can't get the time wrong with Big Ben right behind me, but if I looked across at uh, Westminster Abbey, I'd see that they're 15 minutes fast over there, which I hope isn't synonymous of anything at all. Uh, we have quite a number of people here, and we'll be talking to them throughout the programme. Of course, as far as radio is concerned, we're on right up until 1 o'clock. There's a young lady here who's, I think, been here since 7 o'clock this morning, haven't you? Uh, could I have your name, dear? Julie Ganchev. And where are you from, Julie? Queensway, Bayswater. And uh, why have you come here so early? Are you very interested in the wedding? Yeah, I think it's great. Um, yeah, what, what's so great about it, though, as far as you're concerned? Well, I just I like to see the wedding and I think it's just <laughs> good. Yes? They're getting married. You're a fan of the royal family, are you? Yeah. All right, Julie, thanks very much indeed for talking to us. And rather appropriately, we're going to start with a record that, um, well, of course, it's a military march. And with uh, something like 500 million viewers watching this program, it is the band of the Grenadier Guards playing Hands Across the Sea. Beat Marie. A very good afternoon to you and welcome to Open House. And for once, I haven't got bags under my eyes. Here we are with Open House at the New Time, and our guest on the show this morning is Anthony Valentine. Are you there, David? I am indeed, Pete. Did you have a splendid seasonal holiday? I did, and I thought your singing on the television was absolutely fantastic. I thought you were terrific, too. I think it's about time they had you orchestrated. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pete
Good evening, and welcome to the Pete Murray Late Show. And a very good day to you, Ian. And a very good day to you, Pete. And how's everything your side of the world? Oh, pretty good. Yes, I've just uh, finished a play with uh, Mike Aspel, Eunice Stubbs, and Dillis Watling called Say Who You Are. We've uh, been doing that for the last seven weeks, and uh, it's been really most enjoyable to hear the laughter and all that sort of thing. It's great, uh, great feeling, yes. you know. And a very good morning to you. Between now and one o'clock, I invite you to join me for four solid hours of entertainment. I'm waiting now for your morning call on the subjects that are concerning you. Then, at ten, we'll have our doctor available to talk to you, while at eleven, I'll be delighted to welcome Roger Whittaker. I think to stand next to him, I'm afraid, hour. Pete, we're going to have the biggest slug competition. The biggest slug yeah, competition? Yeah, we want to be the innovators. He's certainly got the biggest program. cucumber I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. Good morning, Laurie. Hello, Gloria. Um, I think, Pete, you and I are more or less the same age, and I think we know all about kissing. What I object to on... Which of... now is uh, our celebrity guest for this morning, none other than Patty Booley. Patty, you look fabulous. Uh, thank you. Tips for Tuesday. Hello, Kay, what sort of tip oh, can we give you? Hello, or... good morning, Pete. It's good not morning. exactly a tip, it's help. About the lady and her sewing machine. Oh, right, yes, that's uh, Kay Maribyrn. Well, I can't see to buy and read the newspaper, but I have Talkback Radio. This is London Talkback Radio. 